Hei kaikille! Tosi kiva olla taas täällä kuvaamassa teille uutta videota. That was finished. Hi to everyone and uh, it's really nice to be here again. Um, I have just come from my parents' place to my grandmother's uh, old place where she used to live and paint. As you can probably tell, there's a lot of her paintings around on the walls and on the floor and <laughs> literally everywhere. Let's take this off. Today I wanted to do something that has also been requested, so a video that has to do with the Finnish culture. Here we'll get ourselves introduced to five different Finnish objects that um, you can find in my room, for example, and in a lot of other Finnish people's households, and um, hopefully end up with a nice package of information for you guys. So, this is the first one. It's Vanhojen Mekko. Vanojen tanssit, in English uh, Ball of the Seniors, is a very formal Finnish tradition held in upper secondary schools slash high schools for the second year students. Let's try it on. I couldn't close the dress entirely because the zipper was very stubborn, but anyway, wearing this dress brought so many memories from the day when we danced these old folk dances, which I love and... <laughs> Nothing better than dancing with an invisible gentleman, right? And then just going nuts. And then up to the next one. Kalevala. Kalevala is considered the national epic of Finland. It is probably also the most known and most significant piece of Finnish literature. The ancient Finnish tradition has a lot of spells and enchantments for different protecting, healing and defensing purposes that were actually sung originally. Kalevala is a collection of just some of those ancient enchantments. Most have actually been lost. It has had a crucial impact on the development of what is Finnish identity. It has also inspired J.R.R. Tolkien in the making of The Lord of the Rings, which is quite fascinating. This is my favorite illustration. It portrays Ilmatar, who is a very important character in the story as she is involved in the birth of the world. Next we have... Tada! Sauna Kauha. Sauna Scoop. Saunas are quite famous today, but basically they are small rooms or buildings that are designed for people to go in and have these heat sessions. The steam and high heat come as a result of throwing water onto this hot pile of stones, which we call kiwas. Saunas have not only been used for bathing, back in the time Finns used to care for the sick and give birth in saunas. And this, my friends, is what you throw the water with onto the pile of stones. And um, guess what? I've made it by my very own self, approximately when I was nine years old or something. But uh, yes, this is a sauna kauha. <sighs> Next, we have kantele. Kantele is a traditional Finnish string instrument that has a very beautiful and elegant sound to it. Um, it can also actually be used for singing these old enchantments that we have in the Finnish tradition. This gondele isn't exactly a great example because it's badly broken. So I found this one person selling it online and uh, he promised it would work and everything would be fine with the gondele, but then I went there the seller was clearly intoxicated. I could also tell that the gantele had a bad slit on the surface, which you can see here. First, I was going to leave, but then I just couldn't. So following my instincts, I decided to take it home with me. It's also very badly out of tune. Um, that's why I call it the gantele of death, because of its very deadly notes, which you will hear in a moment. It cannot fulfill its destiny as an instrument anymore, I'm afraid. But
but uh, I was planning to give it another future by making it into a painting. I have already split it in half, actually, for it to be easier to put on the wall. The next step would be to take off the strings and uh, paint something around here. I was thinking something Kalevala themed and um, yes, then it would be sort of a painting and it could be put on the wall and it would be happy. Next we have Ylioppilas Lak. This is the Finnish student cap that we get once we graduate from high school to mark the completion of the Finnish matriculation examination slash completing our finals. To complete high school, we typically study for three years, at the end of which we take a minimum four final exams. I did my final exams in six different subjects, so um, math, literature, English, history, geography and religions. It was very much fun to plan and to film this video. It felt nice to uh, share these objects with you that uh, have been very present in my life and, and that I think that a lot of other Finnish people also identify themselves with. I hope that now you feel like you know a little bit more about Finland and about my heritage as well. Um, if you liked the video or you would like to learn more about the you know, Finnish traditions. Uh, I would, I would love to do that. So please uh, let me know in the comment section or somewhere else. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go home now. So thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.